Hi, Peter Charles here, folks, for Life Fly Fishing. And today we're going to do uh, another uh, fly from the uh, Fly Tying Bible. It's called Polywing Midge. Generally, it's a small fly. We're going to do it in a size 16 today, but you can do it down to even a size 20 or 24 or 22 if you wanted to. It's designed to imitate very small dark flies. Uh, so let's get going and looking at the materials. Our hook is a dry fly hook in a size 16. Our thread is black 16 aught vivus. The body is uh, an Antron uh, black. You want to use um, uh, 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 synthetic for this. It'll um, it's, when you're using. I find synthetic work really well for small flies because you can really dub them lightly. Now the wing is this polypropylene floating yarn in white. This stuff is lovely. It floats. So uh, I would suggest you get lots of this stuff. There's quite a few flies in this book that are done with this yarn. It really works quite nicely. So we'll be using that. And we're gonna use some black dry fly hackle. So let's get started. Bring your thread back to the hook bend. Now we're gonna go lightly with the dubbing. We're just gonna make a raw this thin rope. Okay, now for our polypropylene wing, we want it roughly the length of the hook. So a couple of firm wraps in there. Trim that off. Bring your thread to the back after you've cleaned up the head. Now for the hackle. If you want to hackle, it's roughly one and a half times the gape of the hook. So that's what we're going to work with here. Now, just stroke the barbs, pinch them, move them back, fold them back a little bit. So when you wind on, you can wind the barbs in front of the previous turn. I'm always brushing the barbs back so you don't get too many trapped in front. That's what you want to try to avoid if tall. You, you, you'll get some. Now what you can do, for those few barbs that are trapped in front, you see how I can use my um, half hitch tool to just to push those back. You don't want to do it too much, you don't want to be too aggressive doing it. But just a little bit back. There, you know, you can get the, most of those barbs. You get the odd one coming forward, but you'll be able to get most of them pushed back. So you don't have those big you know, bits of barb sticking out forward. There you go, the polypropylene uh, winged midge. Uh, I think it'll be an effective pattern that uh, polypropylene wing will keep it up. Uh, black flies always tend to work well, especially when there's smaller flies coming off. Uh, and uh, you know, you could I sometimes think about using these in the evening if you've got an evening hatch and the light levels are low. Black works as good as anything else. So give it a try, the polypropylene midge. Cheers.